Kevin Sidebottom here, speaker, author, and trainer, and I go around teach sales organizations and leadership teams how to build trust and influence with their customers and their team members to generate higher profits and more revenue. Today, let's talk about how you build trust after it's been broken, okay? How do we do that to gain trust again? Well, if you've followed any of my other videos on building trust or have taken my trustworthy training, we well, already know how to build trust, right? We need to answer the three questions. Do I like you? Do I trust you? And how can you help me? Now, chances are, if you've broken trust, they probably don't like us. Let's be honest. They probably don't like us. So we need to make sure that we're showing up and being intentional, just like we did before, but we need to be apologetic and tell people, I am sorry for what I've done and here's what I'm going to do to fix it because I care about our relationship and I value you. Okay, It always goes back to focusing on them. We need to make sure that we're growing that relationship and it will take time. It, there's no quick fix. There's no rubbing the genie's bottle and making things happen. It's going to take time to build that. Just like you first met somebody and engaged with them, we have to start it all over again, which is building trust and answering those three questions again and again and again, because we've always been doing that. So do I like you? Do I trust you? How can you help me? Well, we need to show up in the right environments. If we're in the environment where we broke the trust, get out of the environment. Go find a quiet, relaxed area where we can sit down and have discussions. We also need to make sure we're showing up in the right colors that are going to build trust, which is what I teach. And I'm wearing certain colors because of that to build trust. We show up wearing those dark power ties like the presidents wear or black or dark grays. Well, you're not going to build trust and we need to build trust. So we need to be focused on our colors that we wear. The different scents can actually affect it as well. I mean, literally go into a department store and check out what affects trust. Go into the women's department, go into the men's department. You'll see how they have different lighting, different sounds, different scents pumped into the areas because different people are affected differently. All the scents also do that, which is why I typically don't wear cologne anymore unless I'm with my wife because I don't want to set anybody off. Can't do a personality test and we typically can't go in and ask them to answer a whole bunch of questions and learn about their childhood mostly not psychologists, so we need to err on caution, and that's typically why I don't wear colognes, because they can set you off. I learned about this in St. Thomas, when I walked into this huge room that had tons of different colognes. I mean, tons. Now, the person actually walked me through the different colognes and asked me a bunch of questions to help narrow in which colognes would help me and fit me better. I mean, it took us probably about an hour and a half to literally go through everything. So I learned by wearing different colognes, I actually show up differently. And people are gonna be triggered differently. And we don't wanna trigger people, especially if we broke trust. We need to make sure that we are setting the environment so that we have the best foot forward. So we're gonna follow the trust building process. We're also gonna be talking about you know, the questions. We need to be intentional about them. We need to understand the situation fully. Make sure we're asking them questions to understand what it is we did, how we actually hurt them, and what do we need to do to fix it. So what's the situation, what are the issues, and what are the ramifications? We need to understand these by asking questions to answer those three areas or else we're not going to move off the mark. Trust isn't going to grow and we're not going anywhere with people. So we need to make sure that we're intentionally asking questions. Now, most organizations have CRM tools, which is what I use is a CRM, Customer Relationship Management Tool, whenever I'm engaging people. I'm learning about them. Now, I teach the process of the house and how you walk up and how you're intentionally asking these questions and being observant. 
I actually have that sheet created that I actually give to everybody who takes the training. So that way we can populate that. And when we're sitting actually in front of people and asking if we can take notes, well, now we're showing we're more intentional. We want to help. We want to make it better. So when we're taking notes, people are actually going to give us more trust. They're actually going to lean in. They're going to be more intentional. They're going to share more. Sometimes when people don't trust us, they're not going to share everything, right? So we need to make sure that we're focused in on them, using our CRM, being intentionally asking questions. Ask questions, lots and lots of questions. And then we need to go execute and succeed by answering those questions and doing the things to answer the third question that people are asking. How can you help me? Well, we need to be focused on them, not us and how we build trust, but focus on them and how we get them to a better place. By doing so, we'll actually gain trust. But this is a long-term play. You're not going to build it overnight. So we need to work at this every day, showing up, being intentional. And over time, they will build trust with us and we'll get moving forward. Now, I want you to also know that typically when you break a bone in your body, it actually heals stronger than the other parts of the bone. That's right, when you have a break, it actually heals a lot stronger so it can weather more storms. So there is hope in building trust again. If you build trust after you go through the storm, you're going to be stronger with your relationship. All right, now if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. If you like the video, hit like, share, subscribe, send it to somebody that might help. That's what I'm here to do with these videos. All right? See you next time. Hey.